Hi and welcome back to another video. Today we are talking about Microsoft OneNote um, and we will be looking at how to use OneNote um, and how to use it effectively. If you do find this useful please click on the like button, hit subscribe and tap that bell, it really does mean a lot to the channel. And with all that said let's jump on over to Microsoft OneNote. Okay so here we are in one of my notebooks. Um, and what I just want to touch on before we dive into the application itself is just to talk about the different ways that you can use Microsoft OneNote. Um, I guess what I mean by that is uh, that you can use Microsoft OneNote across your um, mobile phones themselves, any tablets that you have, and desktop applications as well. Um, and it's important that we, go, that we choose the right tool for the job. So in um, Microsoft OneNote, there is different functionality depending on which device you use. Um, so if you take the mobile device, for example, and the mobile application, it's great just to see things like lists or um, take ad hoc notes as and when you need to, and then synchronize those notes into your tablet OneNote or your desktop OneNote. Likewise, if you're using a tablet, it's absolutely fantastic to use a tablet um, in a meeting environment or in the classroom, as it tends to be a little bit easier to actually take notes um, on those particular devices. Um, and again, once you have those notes um, in your tablet or on your phone, they can be synchronized into the cloud and then pulled down into a desktop application. And it's a desktop application that you see here um, and that's what I'm using in this demonstration. Um, and what's really useful actually is, is when you have used those other devices to capture all of the information that you'd like, you can then actually start to digest it um, in your desktop or via laptop or um, the actual desktop application itself. And they actually start to have different functionality that you can only generally get from the desktop rather than from um, a mobile or tablet application. So, what I'm going to do is just quickly look at the structure here. So um, the structure is pretty similar across a uh, mobile tablet and your um, desktop, but there is some different functionality in how uh, you use them. So in this example, the desktop application actually makes it very easy to navigate and switch between your notebooks, add new notebooks and see all of your tabs and your pages all on one kind of screen. Whereas um, the, the iPad application, for example, kind of has more of like a tree structure um, in that you select the notebook, then you select the um, section that you'd like, then you select the page or the sub pages and so forth. And you kind of have to drill down um, into those. Whereas the desktop application makes it a little bit easier to actually just see absolutely everything um, in one go so you can easily flick and actually it's a little bit more productive I find um, using the desktop application to digest the information that you've actually gathered. Um, so over here on the far left hand side you see um, I've got a notebook called YouTube. If I just choose from the drop down here we can see that I have three different notebooks and I can easily flick between them um, as needed, okay, just like that. And if also, also just go into this drop down here, you can see that I have the ability to add a new notebook as well, um, straight away from this particular area. And there's also quick notes down there, but uh, that'll probably be a tutorial in itself. Um, then across here, you see I have three tabs, but I have the ability to add more um, just in this section. Um, but at the moment, I have a to do lists tab, I have a bullet journals tab, and I have a page setup tab. Um, and obviously, I can add as many as I need. Then on the right hand side here, we can see that I have my pages. I have a shopping list, I have a back to school list, um, and they have the ability to add more pages if I choose. And the same thing is said on here. I only have one page called bullet journal. And on this page, I have a page setup or a new page. Okay. Um, and those are the main structures that you, when you start using OneNote for the first time that you're going to want to start to understand um, how this works is you have a notebook and then inside each notebook, you will have sections. And then inside each sections, uh, each section, you will have uh, pages. Okay, and you can create sub pages and subsections as needed. 
Um, and so you, when you first start out, you, you kind of want to have an idea of how you would like to structure your notebook. Um, and I probably would suggest you actually set it up on a desktop application and then synchronize that notebook into your mobile devices. That way you can have everything set up um, settings wise in your desktop application and sync those into your um, mobile applications as well. Um, so once you're happy with your structure, you can obviously, you know, do various different things. So as you can see from here, I have um, a shopping list uh, and a, a little list in a container here. With uh, OneNote, what you tend to happen is I can move my cursor absolutely anywhere on the screen and start typing. And what happens is it can create a container for your notes. Um, so for example, if I type in here, this is a test. Now you can see I have a little gray box containing this is a test text. And what I can do is I can drag and I can move this um, new container anywhere I would like on the screen. I can obviously format the text using the curve, the ribbon at the top here, however I would like. Um, and you can do the same thing with pictures, imagery, and you can put in um, documents such as Excel sheets um, or PDFs and things like that. And again, you can just drag and drop them anywhere on the screen um, and organize your notes for that particular page. So here's my to-do list and I can just drag those around as well. Um, if you would like to know more about how to create a to-do list, um, I do have a um, playlist for Microsoft OneNote, so go ch check that video out. It'll cover um, things like how to create a bullet journal, how to create to-do lists, and how to get your pages set up. Um, so as you can see from default, you actually end up with a blank white page like this, um, but through some settings, you can actually give it rulers um, so it's so ruled pages you can set it up to becoming an A4 page and all those various different things. Um, so that's always a good um, thing to think about when you're structuring out your notebook, how you would like it to look. Do you want it just to be a plain white page like this? Um, or would you like it to actually be an A4 sheet um, with ruled lines in there so that you can actually click inside each one of these and type away, right? So um, think about that when you're, when you're first starting out and wanting to structure out um, your notebook and the sections and the pages do you think about how you want those pages to be okay um, so what else can we do within Microsoft OneNote um, there's lots of added functionality that um, is kind of hidden and you don't tend to know about it a lot of people just tend to just use it because it synchronizes so well um, take notes on an iPad synchronize it to your desktop that kind of thing um, and they just literally would just type notes randomly into a page and be done with it however when you structure it out properly it's very powerful um, and then there's some hidden functions that make it even more powerful um, so for example this particular to-do list here I was actually able to send the tasks into Outlook Okay, so now I have integrated um, this particular container into my Microsoft Outlook and then set them as tasks to basically remember to buy milk, to buy bread, to buy pasta, to buy water, right? Um, so when it comes to listings and, you know, you, if you have um, a particular job where you have to complete a certain amount of tasks, um, and you're in a meeting and you're making notes of those tasks, well, you can quite easily, at a click of a button, send those into Microsoft Outlook. Um, and I do cover the, the how to do that in the to-do list video, so do check that one out if that's of interest to you. The other things that you can do here is there's a, a tags section um, just here, where as you can see, is from this drop-down. And here there is a huge number of of ways of actually tagging your notes, right? So project A, project B, or it's critical, it's a password, um, this is an idea. And what you can then do is actually filter your notes by those tags. So you can find th anything within your workbook um, that has a specific tag. So for example, these were tasks that were just um, tagged as a to-do list. I could go and search all of my to-dos within my one uh, note workbook uh, or notebook I should say um, if you wanted to have a um, entire section and, or, and pages dedicated to 
usernames and passwords, you can do that um, and keep it all in one place and synchronize across your devices. Um, if you want to create an ideas like a mood board, you can do that and you can tag it as an idea and then you can search for all of your ideas in OneNote. Um, but beyond all of this, you can then go further and actually customize tags. Okay, you can create and reorder tags. So if there's something that you would like to create that is not here yet, you can go ahead and actually create your own customized tags that then allows you to take it to the next level. And you can tag things very specifically to your needs. And then you can search all of your OneNote um, application for anything with that particular tag. So if you're running multiple projects, for example, and you know you wanted to drill down into quite um, detailed uh, tags, then you can do that. You can create them in OneNote and assign all of your notes those specific tags, and then it becomes a little bit easier to just navigate through uh, all of those various notes that you've been making. Um, you know, it all depends on on how much you use uh, Microsoft OneNote as to how far you'd want to take it. Um, but I'm going to probably call this video there um, because I've rambled on for about 11 minutes or so. Um, but hopefully you guys found this useful, just kind of talking through um, the structural uh, approach to OneNote, how it would synchronize across multiple devices. Um, and the most important thing I would like you guys to take away really is that it's probably more important to get um, your structure set up um, properly and to really kind of spend a little bit of time thinking about that before jumping in to creating um, notes and lists and things like that. Now, obviously, if you have a OneNote that you've already been working with, um, a notebook that you've already been working with, then you know, that's great. It doesn't mean that you have to start again. It just means you have to start to think about how you'd like to structure it out and just apply that structure in um, into that current notebook that you have. And then once you have it structured out and you start using tags, you'll find that actually it becomes easier to use um, the application and um, be able to actually use it effectively um, rather than trying to trawl through um, various pages or um, sections trying to find a specific note. If you just created a tag, you could just search for that tag. Okay, um, hopefully you guys, you did find it useful. If you did, please click the like button, hit subscribe and tap that bell. It does mean a lot to the channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.